Hello Stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. We are on day 13 of our Facebook Live Marathon. I am in this with you for the long haul. <laughs> so I hope you guys had a good Saturday. It doesn't seem to matter to a lot of us that it's a weekend, right? Hi Lori, you're the first one to pop in here. Rachel just came on. Hi Rachel. Yeah, so... I had a lot of plans for today. Like, I don't, I shouldn't say I had a lot of plans. I planned on getting a, a lot done today. So I was going to get up and I was going to um, figure out what I was going to do for my Facebook Live. I was going to do it this morning. And then I was going to work on kits for the rest of the day because I have a lot of cardstock to cut and kits to get ready that need to go out in the mail on Monday. Hi, Mom. Happy to see you. My mom just popped on. Um, and well, that didn't go as planned because Haley came over, um, she messaged me and she said she was hungry. Did we have food that she would eat? Cause she's a really picky eater. And, um, I said, you know, I'll make Texas toast, French toast and sausage. We have that. So then I made breakfast and then when that was done, um, I took a shower and got ready for my day at home. <laughs> and then... I came in here and my plan was to take these two cards and just cut everything for them. They're swap cards that I've received and make them for you. Well, then I started goofing around with them in different ideas and pretty soon, I'm it's six o'clock. I still haven't eaten since my breakfast, which is really kind of lunchtime. <laughs> I have my cards done and I'm ready to make cards for you. I hope they go well. But um, yeah, I didn't touch anything else. So, but I am happy to tell you that last night when I got done with my Facebook Live and got everything loaded up on my blog and all the YouTubes and all the things. Hi, Jazzy. My niece Jasmine is saying hi. Um, when I got done with all that stuff, I ran out and got my popcorn and I went and got my um, sour patches because I have to have those with my popcorn. So it's kind of funny. And it was real weird. Um, when I went to the gas station for the Sour Patches, nobody was there. I walked in. I grabbed my Sour Patches. I walked up to the clerk. I held them up for her so she could do the scan light on them. I dropped them in my purse. I gave her $2 and she, and I said, keep the change. So I just walked out. <laughs> yeah, it's real weird, right? Real weird. And Steve told me that gas is $1.29 a gallon today because he's obsessed with the price of gas, as is my mother who's watching me right now. Her and him, they're like, oh, did you see the price of gas? Yeah, if I would have waited to fill up the truck until we got to the next town, I would have, you know, it would have only been a dollar twenty seven. So they would have saved two cents a gallon. And I'm like, who cares? Like, that's what are you going to say, 30 cents on a tank of gas? Like, who gives a rip? <laughs> they always tease them about it. And now, they Steve makes it a point that when we're driving through a town someplace, he'll go, look, at gas is only $1.34. And I'll go, oh, yeah. Because he knows. Like, I'll go, oh, my Lord, who cares? <laughs> the amount that you save on those little cents is so not even worth the breath that's pushing your words out of your mouth. Are you guys like that? Do you watch the price of gas? I think it's funny. But um, I have my weird quirks too. So we all do, right? Hi, Tracy. I'm glad you caught me live too. I see Jackie's on here. Debbie just popped in. Welcome. Linda, how are you doing? I'm jealous um, of your weather. It is raining right now here in Menasha and I, my fingers are freezing. You can see I'm dressed for winter. Well, dressed. I mean, I always wear clothes, but I'm dressed for winter and I am cold. And oh, you have to see my cute boots. Let me see if I can get my leg up here. Oh. These are my cute boots. Yeah, I love these. And they're super warm. They're fur lined and I'm still cold. <laughs> I don't know. My um, internal um, thermometer must be really messed up or something because then I'll have a hot flash. So just wait for that, right? <laughs> Donna is from Australia. She says our petrol stations are only accepting tap and go cards so we don't touch anything. No gas. No 
cash payments. Oh, that's interesting. Um, here in Wisconsin, I don't know what the count is for today, but as of yesterday, we had 600 corona confirmations. Um, it hasn't gotten super out of control here yet. Now, I don't have any illusions that it may not in the next few days, but, um, um, you know, we're a little more isolated. We're not, and Milwaukee has the most cases, of course, because that's a really big city, but we don't have that many cases. My mom told me there was one confirmed case in her county, and she's very rural. Like, my mom lives way out in the country, but the whole area where she lives is pretty much farm country with small towns. So, um, do you, yeah, do you use gloves to fill up your car with gas? I was going to say, are you asking me that? Because I haven't filled up a car with gas in ages. <laughs> I don't even own a car anymore, you guys. Did you know that? Like, I got rid of my Explorer, and um, I haven't bought anything else, so I don't even own a car. And I don't care. And I like not having to deal with anything. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, we have two vehicles. Um, we have a truck, and Steve has his car. The truck is his, too. But I just drive whatever is left in the driveway. I kind of like it. Um... Oh, Sandy says no virus in her county yet in New York State. I assume that's what you're saying, right? Over 3,000 cases in Illinois. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> yes, my boots are as cute as the paper pumpkin boots, aren't they? I know, but I'm really disappointed in them because they've got these little buttons on them. Do you see those little buttons? And they used to have little things and little strings with balls made out of this stuff that hung from them. And those broke off. And then on my other side, this whole cover on this button fell off. So they look kind of, they're kind of trashy, actually. You know what I mean? But they still look brand new, but everything kind of fell apart on them. So I was really disappointed. So I don't wear them outside the house. <laughs> well, maybe I do sometimes, but I probably won't anymore because, you know. Anyways, let's get to our prizes. Um, oh, I didn't tell you what Steve did today. He worked all day in the laundry room still. He is still working in that laundry room. Like, he is making it completely perfect. He took the caulk out around the sink because it was kind of crummy looking. And then some of it was painted and some wasn't. And blah, blah, blah. So he took that all out. He took down the paper, the toilet paper holder because um, the wall wasn't good around where the, where the things went into the wall. It was kind of like dented and stuff, you know. So he sanded it off and put some drywall mud on it and made it smooth and sanded it again and repainted it. The new toilet is in place. Um, so yeah, this may be too much information, but he came in my office when he got it working again and he goes, the pooper's ready. <laughs> so, like, look okay. <laughs> yeah, it's always fun here. And uh, then Haley was here. She was designing cards for me. I have some classes coming up, which um, reminds me, I have a kit class. My April kit class is going to be used the Dressed to Impress stamp set and the All Dressed Up dies. Well, this is a bundle. That's what my April kit class is going to be all about. So we've started working on that already, so that's cool. And um, I don't remember what my other class is going to be. I have another online class in April, too. But Stamping Society, oh, it's going to be the Ornate Garden, okay? And when you buy that, the suite of products that I list on my blog from me, you will get the online class for free and a pre-cut cardstock pack as a bonus. Um, there will be a cutoff date for that cardstock pack being included, but it'll be sometime like in the middle of April or something. So be watching for that. Yes, who just said you're fixing everything and then you won't want to move out? Yeah, you know me so well. You got that right. Um, anyways... I wanted to award our layout challenge people. Let me see if I can find any cards from the layout. Oh, here's one right here. Remember my layout challenge card? Yeah, well, I think I was going to award that yesterday. Whoops, here it is. And then I forgot. So here was our layout challenge. Thank you to everybody that submitted cards. You guys knocked it out of the park. If you don't, if you're new or you've missed it, I did a layout challenge right here on my page. So once we're done being live, you can scroll down and you'll look for this card. And then underneath of it in all the comments is where everybody submitted all of their cards that they made with that layout. 
and I went through and put everybody's names in a drawing that submitted cards and the prize that people are going to be winning is the Wild Rose Dies. And if you remember, I made these cards, whoops, these cards the other day with the Wild Rose stamp set and these are the dies that go with it. So I'm going to be giving away um, a set of dies that go with the To a Wild Rose stamp set. Our winner, Kim Loper. Kim, congratulations. Your, everybody's cards were beautiful. Her card was adorable too. And um, again, thank you for submitting. It's fun to participate in stuff like that, right? Maybe I'll figure out another one and get that together. Um, what else? Oh, and then I think I might have had the layout challenge getting this embossing folder, but this is actually um, the prize for today is this embossing folder. It's called Parisian Flourish 3D Embossing Folder. And this is from the Facebook Live comments and YouTube comments from yesterday. And Colleen Miller of Amro, Wisconsin, you are the winner of this embossing folder. Congratulations. Kim is also from Wisconsin. So like Wisconsin takes the house tonight, right? <laughs> that was pretty cool. So I will get these both out in the mail to you. And let me put my challenge card back so I don't lose it. Put this back over here. What else do I need to tell you? Anything? Hmm. I don't think so. Let me put this back over here. Tonight, I've had lots of people asking me to use the Under My Umbrella bundle. So I'm going to be sharing some cards, or a card, I should say. Yeah, a card with this, and then another card. But um, we're going to be using this for one of the cards tonight. And I think you guys are really going to like it because it's a really cool thing that I found. Um, as It's not really a technique, but it's a little technique-y. So I think you'll really like it. Um, hi, Nikki Schmidt. Hi, Jody. I see Kay popping in. Welcome. So today I opted for my red neck earrings. Can you guys see that? These are the ends of bullets, like shells. And they're made into earrings and a necklace and a bracelet. I received this as a gift from one of you wonderful people and I would have to go back and look again to find out the name of the person that gave it to me and please, I'm so sorry, but I don't remember names. Um, but just know that I am thoroughly enjoying my shotgun shell jewelry. Yeah, and I'm calling it my redneck jewelry and I love it. I have redneck roots, so, and we're good with rednecks, right? So Wendy Sue just asked, how is Haley? Oh, that reminds me, Wendy Sue. I have to talk about your card again. Um, Haley is doing good. She um, is feeling better than she did yesterday. She was here all day today. Um, she said she had a really bad headache yesterday too, but her stomach stopped feeling funny. And she's kind of having, you know, her tummy gets real tight every once in a while, so. Weedley is practicing for her entrance into this world. <laughs> I think she's having just little like um, phantom contractions or what do they call them? Brixton something Hicks, Brixton Hicks or something like that. I don't remember. It's been a long time since I had me a baby in my belly. But um, yeah, so she's doing much better. Thank you for asking. Oh, somebody made flowers with the small umbrella. Oh, I bet they did. That sounds super cute. People are so creative, aren't they? Like, I want to be one of those people. I can see their stuff and copy it, but I'm usually not the person that comes up with those brilliant ideas. Anywho, I got a little bit of mail today. Um, Heike Alberts is a professor at UW Oshkosh, which is our University of Wisconsin in Oshkosh campus. And she um, is actually from Germany. So she is has been living here for several years as a professor at our Oshkosh um, College campus. And she made me this beautiful card. And isn't that cool? It's like a tie-dye technique, right? And she's been watching my lives. And she said, um, Dear Kelly, um, can't email you reminded me oh your in your last email you reminded us how important it is to send cards at a time like this so here you go 
I love having you as my demonstrator. I only show up to your classes every once in a while, but I love them. Thanks for sharing your ideas with us. This card cannot compete with yours. Please stop. But it is um, very unique. All the best, Heike. So, Heike, it's not a competition. Your card is beautiful, and it's the thought that goes behind the cards that makes them extra special, right? Thank you very much. I'm going to set this right up here. Getting quite the little collection behind me. And then I have to talk about Wendy Sue's card again. Do you remember this beautiful card? And you guys can't see this, but it's got Wink of Stella around the edges of all of these tulips. And this was like a whole bouquet. So I showed you guys this card the other day, but when I went to display it today, I didn't realize until then, it's actually um, an easel card. And isn't that cool? This part right here goes up and hits on those tulips. And then when you set it up, you display it just like this. So I wanted to make sure to bring this back because Wendy Sue worked so hard on that and then I didn't even realize it was an easel card. So thank you, Wendy Sue, I really appreciate it. And I'm glad I figured it out because you deserve kudos for that, right? Yeah, that's what I thought too. Okay, I am going to, I think we're ready to flip the camera around. I'm gonna bring you guys up on my screen first. Wet my whistle a little bit. Please make sure you're clicking on that like button when you get here and also share. Click on the share button. You can do it right now, whether you're watching now or later on YouTube. The sharing really helps me. It helps push my um, videos out to more people and you never know when you share it on your profile on Facebook or share it on um, YouTube. You never know who might see it that might either be looking for a new hobby or Maybe they were a stamper years ago, and they're like, oh, I might like to get back into that. I've had a lot of people joining me that I hear that, that, oh, I used to stamp 10 years ago, and I like your videos, and I'm going to start up again. So that's really nice. And um, people need things to do right now, right? So this is perfect. It's good, clean, fun. And you should always be making your own cards because it costs a lot less than buying them at the store said no stamper ever. <laughs> we know that's not true. Once you have all the supplies, then it's true. But we know. <laughs> it is a hobby and um, it's a fun hobby and it keeps you out of trouble, right? You could spend your money on a lot worse things. Okay. Um, yeah, so you wanna, I'll show you a little bit about an easel card right now. So here's the deal. An easel card is nothing more than a regular card base, okay, regular card base, and then you put another front on it. You're going to take your regular card base and you're going to score it halfway down so that it bends like this, okay? So this right here is your card front. Score it and bend it halfway down, and now you just put another panel on the front. That's all there is to an easel card. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, it's super duper simple. So you just have a regular card front, score it halfway down, fold it under, fold it under. So then you're gonna get this. And then you glue this front part only to the bottom half below the score line. Yeah, I think you're I think you've got it. So yeah, that's, that's what an easel card is. They're super simple. And then you want to make sure that you're mounting whatever you put here. You could put a label here, like a punched out label, but you want to make sure you're mounting it on dimensionals because then that is a little bit higher and it catches the easel. That's the, that's the catcher for the easel part. Okay. Yeah. I love easel cards. They're a lot of fun and, um, they really have a wow factor, right? Yeah, you tell your husband there are worse things to um, waste money on. Yeah, and um, you didn't say waste, but you said down. <laughs> Anywho, so um, I had a funny little story from a few years ago. Before I became a demonstrator, my friend was um, coming to visit me, and she we were going to be stamping all weekend because we both were into stamping. 
And so I brought all my stuff from the basement. My basement is really crummy, like it's 120 years old. So imagine that. So I brought all my pertinent stuff up from the basement and put it in the kitchen so that, first of all, we wouldn't freeze to death because there's no heat in the basement. And we'd have a nicer area to spend our weekend together and stamp in. So I just brought everything into the kitchen. Could you imagine doing that now? Probably not, but I could at that time. And so a few days after my friend left, all that stuff was still in the kitchen because I didn't put it away right away. And my husband goes, wow, that looks like a lot of money. Like you've been spending a lot of money on this stuff. And I was like, and then I went, now, wait a minute. There are four pairs of hunting boots by the back door. And I know they're each at least $150 a pair. And we're not going to talk about your racquetball rackets or your racquetball shoes or your racquetball bags. or. And before I could get the next thing out of my mouth, he goes, I think we're good. And he walked out to the garage. <laughs> so it was pretty funny. Anyways. Okay, I think we're ready to stamp. I have all my bits and pieces here. Hang on. I don't want to spoil the surprise. I always like that element of surprise. Oh, my thing is dirty, but we're going to we're going to deal with it. Okay. I am flipping the camera around. Now, when I flip the camera around, sometimes I miss a lot of comments because I'm trying to stamp and then I have to look at my computer and try to stamp and look at my computer. So, if you ask me a question and I miss it, don't be afraid to keep asking it until I see it, okay? It's okay to do that. I won't be like, oh my gosh, back off, sister. <laughs> I won't do that. <laughs> but um, yeah, so hang tight. Close your eyes if you get motion sickness. We're going to move this baby around. I am tethered to my power cord. Okay, I think I've got it straight. Let me make sure my phone is plugged in under my desk because I know my power was low before. All right. Now, I said we're going to use this under my umbrella and that is certainly what we're going to do. So the first thing I wanted to do is I wanted to bring in my Pleased as Punch designer series paper and this punch fits all of these umbrellas whether you do the big umbrella or this little umbrella. We've got these umbrellas that are kind of closed. The punch fits all of the umbrellas on the Please Dis Punch designer series paper. And if you happen to miss that, this paper is beautiful. Now, this is over March 31st. Um, the promotion that this paper is included in ends on March 31st. So let me pull out the rest. This matches our umbrella. This matches our small bloom punch. That's free during celebration. Look at how pretty that is. Then we have tulips. This matches our tulip builder punch. And I don't have any of my hearts in here. Let me see if I can find some hearts. I think we used, Haley used all of them for the cards that I made. But this is the heart paper, hearts, and then plaid in all different, oh, here's another piece of it, in all different colors. And our heart punches match these. So this is the first time Stampin' Up! has ever had a paper that matches four different punches. So that was pretty cool. You get, you get your money's worth in here. And there are 12 sheets in here. You get three of each pattern, double-sided. So this is called Please As Punch Designer Series Paper. Oh, and I have to tell you guys, I'm also wearing my crown ring. Somebody sent this to me, too, and I think it was the cutest thing. They said you should wear a crown on your fingers since you wore a crown on your head. Yeah, <laughs> and I do. So I pulled that out today, too, because I wanted to be a little fancy, right? My fingers are all, like, my rings are so big. I need to get some of them resized. I actually put my wedding ring on my ring finger, and I worry about it falling right off. But that's the only finger that my blue topaz will fit on. So, and I love this ring. I got this when I was in Greece on the Stampin' Up! incentive trip. Yeah. Okay, so, squirrel, back to our stamping. So, um, our punch fits right into these different images. And I see here that I'm going to have to cut this a little bit. Hang on. I'm going to bring it into my little paper trimmer. And I'm going to cut right between all of these so I don't mess up the ones that I could use if I wanted to. 
Oh, <laughs> let's bring this back. And now I think what I'll do is I'll punch this one out so that I don't have to cut it and waste it and I'll put it in my pack of paper. We're not going to use it actually. This one is kind of cut off so I, I don't feel too bad about that. And I'm going to get this just a little bit closer so I can get in. I want that particular one. Now if you're wondering about this little guillotine punch, I know I've been a broken record but Celebration ends on Tuesday, March 31st, and when you join my team, whether you're a discount shopper or a business builder, you get this for free, this cute little desktop guillotine cutter, and I love having it on my desk to use. Okay, so here are my two umbrellas. I'm going to be using the petal pink one, and I'm just going to put this one right in my case where you can see I have some other umbrellas in here. And then when I go to use the stamp set again, I will have that. Okay, so hang on because I'm no longer cold. I'm now sweating. I had to take off my insulated vest. <laughs> I know. It's, it's, I'm a treat. I know. <laughs> okay, so we've got our little umbrella here. And then look at all these pretty things. We've got two strips of gold foil paper. These are each a half an inch by five and a half. I've got a scrap of gold and a scrap of our um, flowering foils specialty designer series paper. Now this is also part of celebration. You can get this free with your $50 order and it comes with this pattern, this pattern, and these are gold and or and copper and gold silver, copper and silver. This pattern, copper and silver. And then this pattern is silver. These are not double-sided. And you get, I think, four of each one. So there's one, two, three. Oh, there's four different patterns. Hang on, let me see. Yeah, you get 12 sheets. So three times four is 12. I know my math a little bit. And math is hard. And my friend, um, Whitney, always says, I'm too pretty for math. <laughs> and I love that. Okay. So this is just a scrap of the paper, a scrap of foil, a scrap of white, and then we have these two pieces. These are exactly the same. We've got um, three and three quarters by five and a half, and this is our vellum cardstock, three and three quarters by five and a half. Uh, this is another scrap. I'm not sure why I have it, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> and we're going to fold this in half. Now this is Four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. We're going to fold that in half and find our bone folder to burnish that edge good. Okay. And then we're going to take these two pieces. Now, I'll show you the card that I got, which is really pretty. It came in a swap, and I kept kind of picking at it, wondering, where did they get that from? How did they do that? When you take this copper and silver embossed paper and you put vellum over top of it, look what happens. Suddenly, it's petal pink. It's like magic, right? Is that not the coolest thing ever? So, copper or petal pink, which I thought was super cool. So, that's why I decided I wanted to make you a card with this. I'm going to bring in my silicone craft mat and my glue. Squeeze out some glue here. And I've got a sponge. This is the way I like to use my, or glue my vellum on. I'm just going to sponge some glue onto my vellum. Be careful with it so you don't make a mess out of it. My sponge is sticky because I'm lazy and I don't wash it. But when you're done doing that, I've had people ask me, like, what do you do with that sponge? Wash it out. You can wash it. I'm lazy. I don't wash it. And then it gets sticky and then I throw it away and get a new one. But you can certainly wash it out. That sticks it to my designer series paper. So remember it looked like this and now it looks like this. Do you guys love this? Is this not the coolest thing ever? I just thought it was the neatest thing. So um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of glue on both sides of this layer and bring in my half inch wide gold strips. And I'm just going to add this, leave just a little margin there, isn't that pretty? And then we've got this one. And I'm going to try and get it the same distance 
or the same margin that I have on the other side. Oh shoot, oh, look what I did. I got a little bit of glue on there. As soon as that dries, I'll get that off with a gum eraser, but I don't know, I must have had glue on my fingers. Anywho, okay, now we're gonna take some of our beautiful organdy ribbon. This is our organdy striped ribbon. It's petal pink, so it matches perfectly. And I'm gonna cut some of this. I'm gonna scroll my screen up. Oh, my me nope, my messages are not scrolling again, you guys. Sorry. Um, I just scrolled them. This looks pretty much the same on both sides, this ribbon does, so you don't have to get too worried about whether you have it the right way or the wrong way. I'm looking at it again here. Yeah, it's pretty much the same on both sides. This is really pretty ribbon, and I'll show you something about this ribbon in just a second, because it does something pretty neat, too. We're not going to use it for this card, but you certainly could for other cards. Okay. Oops. Got the old Amish tape here. Using it like a boss. <laughs> okay. My crown is falling off my head. All right. Now, one thing that I noticed when I was making my sample card was that I don't like, I don't like this. I don't like that flopping around like that. Um, it annoys me. So I like to take some little glue dots, mini glue dots, and I'm just going to set those over here under my ribbon on that side of my ribbon because I know that I'm going to put a label over here to cover it up. Okay, so now my ribbon isn't like poofed all over the place. Now I'm going to take another piece of ribbon and I'm going to just tie a single knot on there. Okay. Now when I get to this part, sometimes I have to, I have to take this off. See how it's bowing like that? I hate that. I hate it, hate it, hate it. So I'm going to pull my tape off, loosen it up. I made it too tight. So if you're finding that yours are doing that, just loosen it up a little bit. You don't want it to be so tight. Oops. <laughs> okay, so. Sometimes things are a little easier than you think, right? Or harder. Here we go. All right, so I just fixed that problem. Okay, next thing we're going to do. Did I have it? Yep, I got a piece of white here. I'm going to take a piece of white, and I'm going to use my Versamark ink pad. I've got my scrap of white paper here. And my gold embossing powder and my stamp set. And I'm going to stamp um, Rain or Shine, You're Always on My Mind. And I picked this because somebody asked me, did I do this yet? Where's my, here's my embossing buddy. Somebody asked me to make some cards with this set, but the other reason I was using it is because I think it's perfect, again, for what we have going on in the world right now. We need more of these just all occasion cards that let people know you're thinking about them. I think they're super important right now. I sent off some cards. I sent my um, shaker cards off. They went out in the mail today to the kids. They're going to love them. So I just know that I'm going to brighten somebody's day, right? Okay. Get this out of the way. Get this out of the way. Now we're going to heat this with your heat tool. Okay, so I've already got that heated up right here. <laughs> you know how magic I am, right? And we're gonna take the Label Me Fancy Punch. I chose this punch because it fits nicely. And I didn't leave my cardstock big enough, so it's gonna make me work hard. I'm gonna get this in here straight. Keep your fingers out of the way. If you get your fingers caught in here, it will make you bleed, oh my lord. And then I've got some mini dimensionals. Now, anytime I'm gonna put a greeting on something where it's gonna be on ribbon, I don't like to put it right on the ribbon. So I chose to use mini dimensionals on the top and the bottom of this layer so that it's gonna be straddling that ribbon and stay in place. Before we do that, we're going to take this gold foil paper and I'm gonna punch out a couple 
of the umbrella handles. I'm like, what are those called? Yeah, handles. Okay, here we go. Now, I'm going to have my handle like this, and I'm going to actually tape it together, you guys, like this. And I know this seems really weird, but I want it to be longer than it really is. Okay, so that's what I have. And now I'm going to take this, and I'm just going to, whoops, tuck it. Oh, shoot. You should maybe do this before you do this part. would be easier. Oh, I just bent it. Hang on. I don't want this to be a repeat of the other day where <laughs> everything just didn't go right. I'm going to pop up those glue dots a little bit. There we go. Oh. <laughs> okay. Third time is going to be a charm. I can feel it in my bones, right? Okay. One more time. Oh, I think she has it. There we go. Okay, now I've got everything stuck down there. So that's how weird it looks. Then we're going to take our little umbrella and I'm going to put some dimensionals on it. So I had this lady um, send me an email today and she's one of my followers from YouTube and it was just the funniest thing because she said she made mention of all the little problems I had with one of my videos the other day where nothing went right and I don't even remember which one it was, but she said... We all know you do that on purpose so you can show us the right way to do things when mistakes happen. And I was like, you bet. <laughs> I sent her back an email and I said, you are absolutely incorrect about that. All of my mistakes are genuine. I just want to make that perfectly clear. Those mistakes are not staged. They are absolutely genuine. <laughs> okay. Here comes our little label, Rain or Shine, You're Always on My Mind. And now I'm going to bring this in here. I'm just going to center it right over my ribbon. And you can see where our umbrella handle just looks like it continues on, right? The last thing that I wanted to do, there was just, I just felt like this needed just a little something extra. So I took my paper snips and I cut out one of these flowers. And if you trim around the flower rather closely, that seems to be the easiest way to cut out these little flowers. And if you're not a cut, if you don't like to cut things out, gosh, just skip this part, it's okay. But then you can just come in and kind of nip in between and get out the white parts. Does that make sense? And of course, I've already done this, so I'm just going to use the one that I already cut out. And what I decided to do with this was to tuck it or pop it right here on this label because I just felt like I needed a little something. Whoops. <laughs> or, or just cover up your label with it. Okay, I needed just a little something there. I'm going to put this on the front of our card. And make sure you add glue on the sides here on your on your gold foil oh gold foil layer, not necessarily all over your fingers. Look at all that glue I got in there! Holy cow! And we're gonna add this right to the front of our card. It's just gonna leave a little bit of the petal pink peeking out of the sides. I want to make sure I got it lined up. Let me get a baby wipe. If you guys need good baby wipes to use, these are Huggies. And these are cucumber and green tea scented, and they're called Refreshing Clean. I love these, and Huggies are actually made right here in our area. So we have the diaper plant, and um, lots of people in our area would do diaper testing for Huggies if they had babies. Yeah, I did it when Haley was little. It's pretty cool. Okay, the only other thing I could think I wanted on here was a little bit of bling. So I brought in these champagne rhinestone basic jewels. I think these are coming off of back order shortly. So we're just going to pop some of these jewels in here. Whoops. Hang on. My jewel took a little dip and maybe one of these medium ones right here. Oh my goodness. What do you guys think? Do you like? But this was so pretty. Okay. Next thing that I'm going to do I still have glue on my hands, hang on, is, I see Peggy and Zoe's here, and Mary, 
and Nancy and Marilyn. Welcome, you guys. My screen isn't scrolling again. Okay. Um, now, I want to show you where I got the original idea from. Are you ready? This is it. And I don't know who sent this card to me. It doesn't have a name on the back or the inside. I probably took it out of the envelope and lost it. But they took one of the flowers that's on the big floral paper here, okay, and colored it in with some, I assume, Stampin' Blend markers. You can see it's got some peach coloring there. Cut the flower out. These are really easy to cut out. And they use the hashtag paper which is this one right here. Let me get that out of there. This one right here underneath their vellum. So this is under that vellum and again it turns it petal pink. Super cool, right? And then this is the Label Me Lovely. Um, the punch that I used is the Label Me Fancy. This is the Label Me Lovely punch. So this is where I got the idea for my card, is from a swap card, and oftentimes that's where I get ideas for my cards, you guys, is I love this layout, I love this technique with the vellum, and then I come up with my own, you know, version of it. Sometimes I just show you exactly what they've made. Depends on how much time I have. So this is what I mess around with all day on. <laughs> I did have fun. I mean, I'm always having fun when I'm creating stuff, so don't get me wrong but it sure took me long enough. Now, um, the other thing that, don't I have a white layer here? I do. Here's my little white layer, and I took the boots, get all this stuff out of my way. I took the, <laughs> oh my Lord, am I making you sick? I took the boots from the Under My Brella set, and I stamped those in gold, or I stamped them in Versamark and gold embossed them. And that's what I planned on putting on the inside of my card here. And then it gives me lots of room to write. So you've just got that little bit of bling coming in with the gold. What do you think? Pretty? Yeah. I thought that was pretty cool. All right, I've got another card to share with you. What time is it? It's 6.42. Do you guys want another card or do you want me to save it for tomorrow? You let me know. I'll get some of this stuff put away so I can, oops, that's why I got powder everywhere. Um, put these away. Have you guys had enough of me or you want me to show you one more card? Because I can save it for tomorrow. Don't forget I'm on live at 7 p.m. Central Time tomorrow night. I don't want to miss that. Okay, I'm not seeing any comments. Here we go. Another card, more cards, more cards. Okay, you guys, here it comes. I can do that. I am in like Flynn. Did you guys know my maiden name is Flynn? Yeah, it is. Here we go. We're coming in with some more. Now, I've also got another color of this card. I'm going to make it a little bit different, but... I am going to show you the other card that I got, and this is another swap card that somebody sent to me, and um, I kind of thought it was really cool, and I took it and ran with it. Hang on, I still have glue on this finger. It's going to make me crazy. Oh, and if anybody's new to me tonight and you're wondering why my nails look atrocious, I have acrylic nails, and our nail salons are closed, as are yours. So, yeah, <laughs> that's just life right now. Okay, this is Calypso Coral. I have no idea whether this card is going to turn out or look good or not. I just want you to know that because I haven't made it yet. I didn't try it with this color, but I thought it would be pretty. And so we're going to give it a whirl. Could be a colossal disaster. Next, I've got an inside layer. This is Whisper White. And then, I wasn't sure if I wanted to use Petal Pink or Calypso Coral. So these are both three and a quarter by three and a quarter. I got a piece of our um, foil specialty paper. This is our flowering foil specialty paper that is three by three. And I've got a scrap of our copper foil paper, a little quarter inch piece of copper foil, Another piece that is two by five and a quarter of the specialty paper. 
I've got a scrap of petal pink here, and I have this in case I goof, goof that one up. <laughs> so, just covering all my bases. <laughs> okay, first thing I wanna do. Now, you've seen me color this paper, you've seen me sponge this paper, you've seen me do a whole bunch of different things to the paper. What I'm going to do today, and we'll see how this goes, I'm gonna try it on this one square piece because I have a spare if I don't like it. I'm gonna bring in my petal pink ink and we're gonna try this out. So I'm gonna bring in my ink pad and we're just going to color this. This is called a direct to paper technique. Ink direct to paper. And the more you do this, the darker it will get. This might make your fingers a little messy, so if you don't like getting messy, it may not be for you. But we have our Huggies baby wipes right at the ready. Okay, so what do you think of that? I think that's pretty. Now the other color that I wanted to try was the Calypso Coral. So you guys don't know what you got yourselves into here by saying, let's do another card. <laughs> you didn't expect it to be a science experiment, right? <laughs> okay, Calypso Coral. And I just like to start in the middle. Ooh, that's pretty bold. Ooh, I like this bright color. Yeah, that's, that's pretty, isn't it? Okay, so now we have both of them. I'm gonna clean my fingers off so I don't wreck my card. And see what we wanna do. So, what's gonna happen is we're going to put these together either with this base underneath, and then this is gonna go someplace, we're not done yet. But we're gonna do this or we're gonna do this. I don't know, I think I like this one better. What do you guys think? I think I like this. I think I'm gonna go with that. Okay, so we're gonna go with this one, and this is the um, petal pink, so let me put this away. Ouch. See, I have no fingernails anymore, and they're so weak, they just bend back and break. That's what happens when you get rid of your acrylics. <laughs> your fingernails are shot. And I know Miss Vicky is going to love seeing me when this is all over because she is the lady who does my nails and I love her to death. She's, I've been going there for years and years. They are very talented and professional. I went someplace else one time and the lady completely wrecked my nails. Like they started breaking. That never happens when I go see Miss Vicky. Okay. So here is our petal pink. We're going to go with that one. I'm going to, mm, yeah, let's see what we're going to do with that. I don't know yet. Anyways, so we're going to take mm, this piece and add it to, <laughs> did you see how I just flung that? We're going to add it to this piece. Hang on, I just overshot my glue a little bit. Put this right on here. Now remember, this is three by three on the designer paper and three and a quarter by three and a quarter on the Calypso Coral. And I do like that contrast, it's very pretty. I'm going to steal Haley's so we don't have such a mess on ours. <laughs> She'll never know. I'm gonna bring in my paper cutter. Remember this was four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. And I'm going to bring in my paper cutter and I'm gonna put it up to two and a quarter, two and a quarter. And now we're going to cut up to the score line. And I forgot this is my old paper cutter and my blade is shot, but we did pretty good, okay? So this is what we did. And now I'm gonna cut this top part off of here. I really kind of liked the technique that was used on this card that I got in the mail, and I loved, oh, that looks like crap. I loved the colors that she used. So I've got another card I'll show you when I'm done with this one. I'm just cutting off the um, score line so it doesn't look so crummy, and that looks so much better. Now, I could have cut that in my paper cutter, whatever works good for you. <clears throat> okay, here we go. We are going to take this tiny little quarter inch strip and we're going to put it right at this edge. 
Hang on a second. There we go. There's a like a glue bugger on there, and I don't want that sticking underneath. Got a little mad at it, didn't I? But come on, just cooperate. Okay, here we go. So I didn't have anybody get ornery with me today, so thank you, everybody. <laughs> Not that you guys would, but I said yesterday that people were getting really crabby. Nobody got crabby today. Everybody was super nice. As a matter of fact, I kind of messed something up, and I should probably tell you guys this, too. I almost forgot about it. So my last card kit that went out, I forgot the purple dye that just goes on the back of the image. You stamp the front of the image and color it, and there was a purple die cut that went behind just to cover up where the stamp and blends or markers bleed through. I completely forgot to put that in my kits. And if you got the Easter kit, I am so sorry. If you would like me to send the purple posy back layer to you, please let me know. Um, if you do, pop me an email and put your address in it so it's easy for me to address the envelope right away. But the other thing you can do is take your white nested shape label that you stamp on and just trace around it and cut out a piece to go on the back. That's if you want to get your cards done right away. And I'm so, so sorry. Like it totally was not even on my radar. I looked at the card, I cut all the pieces, but this was when you open it up, it was on the back of the front piece for Pete's sakes. So anyways, I've had people that have emailed me that I forgot that and then it dawned on me that I did not just forget it in their kit. Like I don't usually miss things in kits. I didn't put it in any of the kits. So that was dumb. But if you would like that, I'm, I'm happy to send it to you. If you need to make your cards right away, just trace it and trim around the tracing and put it on the back to, it just neatens up the back side of that colored label. Look at how pretty that is. Is that not pretty? Okay, I'm watching. I just scrolled my screen. Oh, Wendy said she thought hers disappeared in her stamp room and she made her own. Thank you so much. It did not disappear. Kelly completely spaced it and it, it wasn't even on my radar until I got two emails about it. And I thought, gosh, how could I have forgot to put something in there? Because it's pretty mechanical when you're putting these kits together. And then when I got the second email, it's like, you know what? I better go look at my stuff. And sure enough, I didn't even have it on the list to do. So, all right, here comes this one. Now, what we're gonna do with this is I'm gonna take some dimensionals and I'm gonna pop up this layer on dimensionals. It's so funny trying to use these super thin fingernails now because they don't work very good. <laughs> And I'm going to put this right here in the middle of our card. And then I took the same label and I stamped it. Oh, do I want it to be on this color? No, I think I want it to be white. Do I have a white one? I do have a white one. I have a white one. This is the Rain or Shine You're Always on My Mind. And I gold embossed this one. That's going to look fine with the copper, I think. I think I like the white better. So I'm going to come in here with this white label. I'm going to add it right here. And then I have my little, oops, I have my little um, small bloom punch. You get this free with your $100 order until Wednesday. That's when celebration is over. There's also a stamp set that coordinates with it called Thoughtful Blooms. I'm going to get my little flower ready. That was petal pink. And then I'm going to, maybe I'll bring in, maybe I'll do some gold. I've got my leaf punch here. I'm going to punch out a gold leaf. Because I've got gold on here. The rest, of, oops, the rest of it's copper. Do I want to go with gold? Do I want to go with copper? Mm, I don't know. I said... I think maybe we will go with the copper. I like the copper better. Okay, so I'm gonna come in here like this. I'm gonna trim off one of these leaves just like my friend did in her swap card. Put this right here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I like it. Okay, I'm gonna nail my leaves down with a little bit of glue. And I think I'm gonna go right here. 
Then this has got a dimensional on it. I'll put this right here. Oh my gosh, it's turning out so cute. And where did those rhinestones go? Here they are. Do we want a big one in the center? I think maybe a big one. These are still the champagne rhinestones. Put that right in the middle. Oh my lord, I love it. What do you guys think? Okay, so it's a little different, right? And you can write your message over here. If you need more room to write your message, put a white piece on the back and continue writing in there. That's going to be very sweet. Yeah, super cool. Now, if you wanted to, you could stamp the boots, put the boots right down here, stamp the little boots on it, or stamp it on a white sheet on the back. But I thought this was a really cool card. And... Here's the original that I got. This, I actually know who this came from. I lost her little slip of paper, but this was made by my um, fellow demonstrator, Renee Conky, and she used Purple Posy and Highland Heather ink for hers. And she used silver on her leaf and one of the Stitch So Sweetly rectangle dies for her greeting. So her card goes like this. And I recreated it to open like this. What do you guys think? Isn't that pretty? So here's the um, Flowering Foils Specialty Designer Series paper, free with your $50 order. Here are the cards that we made with it. Here's another swap card that I got. I did not make this card. But this is what gave me the idea for this one. And then this is the card right here that gave me the idea for this one. Yay! All right, so I was I was a little worried that this was not going to look good this way, but it does. That I wasn't going to like the colors I put together, but I do. Both of these, I think, are really pretty. What do you guys think? Oh, I see the hearts coming in. Yay! Okay, so... I'm going to take some pictures of all of these cards and um, put them on my blog. I'll get this video uploaded to YouTube. I'm going to turn you guys around right now so that I'm not talking to the back of your head. There we are. I'll get all this loaded up and then I'm going to start working on my kit classes. I have, if you ordered from me the um, Birthday Bonanza online class, this is a new one for the month of March. I will be running that report probably a little later tonight. If you missed it and didn't get in on it and would like to order it, you can go to my blog, www.astampabove.com, and um, you'll find online classes in the right-hand column. Click on them and get your name in before I shut it off because I am going to shut off um, the pre-cut card stock. Well, maybe I won't have to if I make extras. But you want to get your name on my list so I make sure I get it mailed out to you. How about that? Um, I usually make a few extras of the pre-cut cardstock packs so that when people buy the class with that option, um, I, don't, I don't make more. Like once I'm done and they're gone, I shut it off that you can't get the pre-cut cardstock pack. The other thing that I'm going to be finalizing tonight, which I said I was going to finalize yesterday at noon, but I didn't pull the report yet, is my welcome Easter kit. And um, that also has a pre-cut cardstock pack option that you can get just the cardstock or you can get the entire kit. And I will be working on those as soon as I'm done with the birthday bonanza because the birthday bonanza had a deadline earlier than the welcome Easter kit for the people that came in after the deadline. So I just want to let you guys know my timeline and what's happening and all that good stuff. And then send out a reminder. Be nice to people. People are really getting stressed out. Um, like a lot of people are kind of at the end of their limit. Um, stuck at home. You know, and I was thinking about this. I hope my husband's not watching. But a few years ago, if I would be stuck at home with him... I would probably have gone to my mom's house because he was very, he was a cranky person. Um, since he has retired, that's all different now. He's a much nicer person. He's a lot of fun to be around. I actually enjoy spending time with him. Whereas before it was like that so much. <laughs> like I would have been gone. I would have like, I'm going to my mom's. Good luck. 
<laughs> that's what I would have done. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe that's a little bit too much information. But I'm just telling you that you never know what somebody else is dealing with, right? You don't know. You don't. I, I had um, somebody call me and... Right now their mom has a terminal illness and she's in hospice and nobody can visit her. That's crappy, right? What we're dealing with that I can't get my nails done and I can't go out to lunch and I'm getting tired of sitting in my house, that's, we can deal with it. We're strong, we can deal with this, we can get through this. Um, there's bigger problems happening. People are, are, are dealing with a lot more than my little inconveniences. And my heart goes out to everybody that's dealing with something like that. But remember, no matter whether it's big or small, it's still their thing. They're entitled to it. They're entitled to feel crappy about it. They're entitled to maybe complain a little bit about it because we all need to vent a little bit. But in the end, be nice to people. We're all stressed out. You guys know what I'm saying, right? And share the jokes. I love the jokes. All these coronavirus songs are hysterical. Um, yeah, naming your kids, Corona, because remember back in 2020 when we had the Corona? You know what? This morning, this is kind of funny. This morning, I don't know why, but I decided to shave my legs and my armpits. This may be too much information, but you're going to get it. And... As I'm shaving my legs, which I hate to do, but as I'm doing it, I thought, I'm not really quite sure why I'm shaving my legs. Like, who cares? And then I thought, but you know what? If I end up with the corona, I do not want to be in the ICU with the nurses saying, yeah, did you see that beast in 352? She hasn't shaved in months. <laughs> like, I'm not going to be that person. They're going to go, wow, check out those smooth legs on that beast in 352. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, I shaved my legs today and um, I don't know. So it was funny because I told Steve, I like, I like said, <clears throat> I was out of the shower and I said, oh, I shaved my legs today. And I'm like, I don't know why I did it. Like, who cares? He goes, I care. I'm like, okay. And then I said, he always, uh, he always calls me beautiful. Hey, beautiful. Which, you know, is super sweet. But um, I said, okay, I'm going to go upstairs and get beautiful. Because I was in a, my hair was in a towel and I didn't have any makeup on. And I said, I'm going to run upstairs and get beautiful. And he's like, that won't take long. Isn't he sweet? This is much different than the man a few years ago that I have lived with all these years. Believe me. So I am, I am lucky and I am blessed to have somebody like that in my life. Everybody doesn't have that. And so during these troubling, scary times when we don't know what's going to happen and everything's up in the air and we're, we maybe people are stuck with people they don't really want to be stuck with. And I could have seen myself there a few years ago. So keep that in mind. Be nice. Bonnie says you're hysterical. Well, I'm real, Bonnie. This is real life Kelly. And um, yeah, before this thing is over, it's probably going to get a lot more real. <laughs> Like, you're going to know things about me you never wanted to know. I kid you not. <laughs> hi, Connie's dying laughing. Rachel's going, aw, D. Hi, D. I'm glad you popped in. Yeah, he is really sweet, right? So, but he hasn't always been. <laughs> I have paid my dues, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Okay, so since I haven't eaten since I made Texas toast, French toast, and sausage for breakfast today, pretty crazy that I was hungry a little while while ago, but then I got unhungry. Um, I don't know how that happens. It's weird. But I think I'm going to go eat, and I'll get these pictures loaded up when I do, and then I'm going to work on my kits, because we have Facebook Live tomorrow night for reals um, at 7 p.m. Central Time. That is when I am usually on every Sunday night at 7 p.m. Central Time. And so I have absolutely no flipping idea what I'm making. None. <laughs> but we'll figure it out tomorrow, right? I have to get these kits going because people have paid and I need to follow through. I, that's very important to me that my kits are top quality, that I'm getting them out when I say I'm going to. So 
thank you guys for supporting my business, my small business. I really appreciate it. It's been a lot of fun stamping with you every day because I really look forward to this. And April says they mellow with age. Yeah, uh, I mean, that's for sure. Um, it's been a lot of fun stamping with you and you're helping me get through this as much as you guys say that I may be helping you, but you're helping me too because I have something important to do every day and that is to share my crazy antics and maybe a little bit too much information with all of you. <laughs> Don't forget to hit that share button. If you would like to place an order, I always appreciate your orders. You will find my online store in the right-hand column of my blog, www.astampabove.com. If you have any questions, need any help, want to get the catalogs, let me know. My email address is kelly at astampabove.com. I am here for you as much as you're there for me. Have yourselves a wonderful Saturday night. Oh, and Gone Girl. So you guys told me yesterday that it was on like FX or FN channel or something at 1230 in the morning. I went to actually buy it so I could watch it right now and it wasn't purchasable. But I taped it so it's on my DVR and maybe I'll watch that while I'm putting kids together. Who knows? I'll let you know tomorrow. Have yourselves a wonderful Saturday. Thank you so much for tuning in.